beautiful, like it's so beautiful. <laughs> I'm here. I'm so excited to see the waterfalls. It is a new wonder of nature, world nature, whatever the words are arranged. But yes, it's gonna be my second after Table Mountain in South Africa. So I'm quite excited for it. Doesn't seem to be a huge queue today, which is a nice thing. So let me go there now. To get to the falls, you can use a bus that goes directly. It's actually very close from where I'm staying at. But because I don't have any cash on me, and it, most of the ATMs will refuse my card, and the ones that do accept have a very like 10% fee, and I only need the bus is like 10 reals, even less. So I would probably only need 20 to go and back because everything else I pay with my card. So I realized it's just easier to use Uber. So between the hassle to get an ATM that will accept my card and the to go to the bus to try and do all that it was just easier to get a, a cab uber it's like around six dollars so it's not that much for me it's the convenience is better than the hassle of getting cash just to use the bus so i'm using uber Brazilian side they have automatic machines where you can just buy your ticket and you can use a credit card I very much love the order here you go there you self check in and you come wait for your time so I got a slot at 2 30 right now it's like 2 10 so I wait 20 minutes for the bus so right now the group 17 is the one leaving i'll be on group 18 at 2 30 and they announced it there's a screen right there about it and then with the bus it takes you around the park so you can board the bus anytime as long as you're inside the park you can board anytime and leave anytime and go to the places you want i read online that you need around two to three hours to visit the brazilian side a little more on the argentinian side so i think i'm good on time for the brazilian side because they close around four no, not four, six. So I have ample time. The bus is in 15 minutes. I am hungry. I haven't eaten lunch yet, so I'll find something to eat in the meantime. I really should have remembered to eat in town because just this juice and this empanada is almost the same amount of money as I paid for dinner the other night. So of course eating in such places is always expensive. But I am hungry and I'm gonna go hiking for a few hours. So yeah, I don't have a choice at this point and I don't wanna starve myself. So it goes. The bus has started boarding before I finished my snack and I'm gonna go because I want a nice seat. I hope they'll let me carry my food with me. <laughs> If you have deep pockets, you can stay in this hotel that is right inside the park and it has a very good view. So, yeah. I am getting off at the second stop. I not going for a boat tour and I can already start seeing the falls. I'm so excited. I'll just come back and go on the same bus to go to the third one. <laughs> but for now, 
<laughs> I can really see them. I'm so excited. Look at that. Oh my god. This is amazing. And this is just a part of it. <sighs> Look at the offshoots, like the smaller ones there and over there and the major one Wow The trail officially begins after the second stop where you see that overview of the waterfall and then you walk among the trees seeing different views of the waterfalls Oh my god, this place is amazing I don't know if you can see what I'm seeing but it's so good <sighs> So beautiful and I don't even think I've gone I've been to the best view yet so there is a hiking trail so make sure you wear comfortable shoes because there is a bit of hiking I think it is usually up to around the 4k but I'll confirm at the end like how long you walk but yeah wear comfortable shoes and hiking shoes hiking clothes as well You will always find cute Okay, okay, yes, we'll do that. Okay. And I found one person who actually speaks English, a Brazilian. There she is. Yes. Hi. My English is so bad, but I am trying. It is better than a lot of Brazilians. I'm, I keep telling her she can get by anywhere in an English speaking country at least. So, really good. <laughs> it's so sweet. <soon>. Yeah. <laughs> it's a leap of faith. A step away from the comfort zone and be a little brave. I have basically inserted myself into a Brazilian's family tour because she is very nice <laughs> and uh, I have somebody to take awesome pictures of me and I don't have to worry about that so I will low-key follow them the entire time <laughs> so you'll be seeing them in my video a lot <laughs> but yeah she's nice she can speak English so we can communicate and she loves traveling so we have a lot in common they are in my office. Now no, because now that they they not rain. Ah, uh, it's not raining. Yes, yeah, so not snow. So as you walk around the trail, so take the trail, not the bus, all the way to the third stop, because as you walk around, there are various stops that show a different view of the trail. All of them super beautiful, like this one I'm about to show you. You wanna see it? Initially, I had decided not to take the boat tour because I was thinking it's just a boat I've done that many times before until I saw this and I knew I had to do it. So stay tuned and watch my experience on that. It can be a bit frightening Something you don't know You need a little enlightening It'll make you go It's a beautiful world out there just don't pass on the dead If you have the will and a moment to spare It's a beautiful world out there It's a beautiful world out there oh, It's a beautiful world out there and Just don't pass on the dead If you have the will and a moment to spare It's a beautiful world out there In the end, the trail wasn't too bad so you don't really have to wear hiking clothes but you do need comfortable shoes and the place is signed everywhere so you won't get lost. Ah, look at that! I am gonna get there but for now, oh my lord, oh my lord. Oh, oh, 
This place is beautiful. The trail itself is easy enough, but it does have a lot of stairs up and down, so you have to keep that in mind when you go there. There is a lot of mist and so the camera gets like water and so if somebody doesn't wipe it, the video turns out like this. But it was so amazing. I was so happy I didn't want to cut it out. So here you go. Okay, it's waterproof, so it was fine. 
So if your gadget is not waterproof, don't go with it there because it gets very misty very quickly. There is mesh wire at the top where you can actually see down so if you're afraid of heights don't look down but if you're brave like this kid right here you're gonna be fine. basically when you're here make sure you take the elevator to come up here it's really beautiful now i'm gonna go to the buses and try and get to the boats but i'm not sure if i'll go depends on how much it costs it looks so much fun i want to try it if it's not too expensive <laughs> I'm going to board but before I do because I'm not coming back these sides again at least I don't think so I might depending on the time here is the beginning of the river before it becomes a fall looks like that So this is the first stop on, by the bus or the last one depending on which side you're coming from and it's where the boat trips take off from. I've decided to take it. When is the next time I'll be here? So YOLO right? Be 386 relies on credit. Okay, yeah credit. Okay, I I know, I know. Lisa? Hello. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. Be free to, to choose your seat. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to Marco Safari. My name is Thank Paul. You. I'll be your guide today. Thank uh, you. Keep your heads and hands inside the car. This safari takes you through the forest where you find some different types of trees. Like one was called monkey banana. Monkey banana? yes some palm trees that are endangered and as much as well as many other types of trees so the tour guide will explain all that to you and it is quite interesting it's a big big massive forest let me see monkey's ear no, <laughs> yeah it does look like an ear yes and it's very tall say 25 meters yes 25 meters high wow the monkey's ear has a substance called saponina. Saponina, mm. when in contact with water, yeah. generates a food mm. that can be used uh, to make soap, soap oh. and also as a major arachnid. Ah. Uh. Mm. Yeah, 
we are now switching to the jeep yes are you prepared for the shower are we gonna go with, on, with this to the water yes we're going to the water boat right uh is there a place to change uh yeah okay we have water from the beach oh okay also our souvenir shop yeah Last and the foreign video service okay all right. we can take it in the investment okay. okay all right bye 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 thank you so when you come during the day you get a tour you get to walk someplace around 600 meters and see some of the animals like the squirrel-like animal i was being told about and butterflies it's very hard to spot jaguars because they're only like 20 in the entire forest and it's like 185,000 acres so it's very hard to or kilometers square something like that so yeah but because it's evening i'm not going to take that walk so i'm just going directly to this jeep on my own so vip tour <laughs> the water rafting like when i saw the boats below the waterfalls i knew i had to do it so i'm gonna go do it uh english yeah uh do you need lockers yes i'll leave my bag because okay. i don't want it to get wet uh, you have to get a key at the store okay, okay all right so you get a locker but it's paid for just 10 reals not so much but I want to leave my bag and my stuff so it doesn't get wet. Thank you. I am now ready for the water. <laughs> So uh, go for a film on the way. You wanna buy or, or if you don't want, we're not going. I, I think I can use mine. Just yours? Uh, how much is yours? 100 reals. Mm, I'll just use mine. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. That's yeah. Thank you. 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 <laughs> okay, so one man two at this one. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm a bit excited and scared. I'm 
never really been the one who's worried Always been the one who's keeping it cool The kind of guy who chill while others hurry I didn't know that I've been the fool Obviously we were going into water so again the camera kept getting wet but at least the person who was taking this video kept on wiping it so I have a half decent video and I had maximum fun. At the beginning of this trip, I was a bit skeptical. I wasn't really afraid, more like I was asking myself like should I have not done this because I'm the only one here. It looks weird. I feel odd, you know, that awkwardness. But by the time I got to the boat, I got into my element. So when we got to the waterfall, I was full on. And eventually, I was so grateful I was alone because then I screamed so much. Because if I was with other people sitting next to me, I, would, I think I would have been more awkward and they would have been thinking, what's wrong with this black guy? But anyway, so. <laughs> So much fun <laughs> if you're coming to Iguazu Falls make sure you get the boat price even if it's gonna be rushed because it's only me as you can see on the boat <laughs> and it's almost sunset the sun is setting it feels totally worth it <laughs> The ride back was so good. It was bumpy, it was 
amazing i was at an all-time adrenaline high at this time so i didn't want this to end and you can imagine when i finally saw the boat place where we started i was so disappointed you can see it in my face but it was so worth it i love this So tired of living like <laughs> I was literally the last person to go. I and the crew are going back up now. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> so at least I got, I got to do it. I'm so glad I did it. <laughs> So I'm the last one everywhere I'm living with the staff but at least these ones did go to the trailer to ask if there's somebody it's not like the bus that almost left me in the middle of nowhere when I was coming here Seeing the beautiful waterfalls all day and having so much fun under the waterfalls and finally going through the forest at in the evening when it was barely light out. I was just imagining how God is good and his creation. I mean all this is so wonderful. So he was so amazing. I was so much at peace. Speaking of God's goodness, the Uber I called refused to carry me unless I doubled the price and so I decided to wait for the bus but the bus didn't seem to be coming. So after waiting for around 10 to 20 minutes, at this time it was around 7pm, I asked a lady about the bus and we, she spent like almost 5 to 10 minutes trying to explain to me. We couldn't understand each other. Eventually, she offered to give me a ride. She actually drove me all the way to my hotel. She's so amazing. She was God sent. For, like, for real, for real. And that is it for the visit. This was amazing. Make sure you do the board. It's the highlight of my day today. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Click to subscribe for more content like this. See you in the next time. <laughs> Can't stop smiling. Join me next time as I show you Falls to Iguazu, the town behind the Iguazu Falls. A lot of times when people go to visit such big places, they always forget the town that houses it and uh, it's usually very interesting. So I always love walking around. So join me in the next video as we walk around Fosdo Iguazu and tell you a little bit of the history and uh, the present. Then uh, so notification button and see you in the next one. Bye.